Greetings, everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with a, another episode of Axis Spain Alternative History World War II. Again, in this uh, series, we are playing as the uh, Spanish nation, and we are we have joined the Axis powers. Uh, although we are not currently at war with France diplomatically, um, we are allied with the Germans. And in order to go to war with France or the Allies, we're going to have to justify a war goal against them. This... To conquer... Okay, so we get to select the areas that we want to conquer in this war goal. And we're going to select the area of Aquitaine. Eight political power, and that will last 40 days. We're also looking at conquering... The Midi Pyrenees. I would like to conquer Laguindac. If I said that right. Um, Provence. Those areas that are high with, uh, filled with resources. The Alps and Rhone are also pretty. Where there was did I see the Alps? There's the Alps. And maybe that is all we can do. Let's actually back off Rhone. And let's select Algiers instead. Uh I did want to conquer Tunisia. Where is Algiers? They've got a lot of possessions around the world. French India, New Caledonia, French West Africa. All right, looking for Algiers here. Algerian desert is not what I'm looking for. There's Algiers. And those are the areas that we are aiming for due to their uh, resource deposits. This will take 75 days. Let's go ahead and send it 75 days. That's a little under three months. Okay, their f Spain, France's focus is a capital ship focus, which won't do them very good when they lose all their land. Um, the other one I wanted to go for would have been England. However, it looks like Germany is actually going to be landing. Well, one day we'll arrive at the location. It doesn't say what location they're arriving at. I'm assuming it's Cadiz in our port. And then I don't think anyone's in Gibraltar. So they might be grabbing Gibraltar on their own without our assistance. And I guess giving them uh, access to our land by joining their faction has assisted them in uh, capturing it. And it will cut off the Mediterranean as per our goals. But I would have liked to grab Gibraltar on my own. This is kind of, you know, my peninsula, the Iberian Peninsula. And I don't think fascist Spain, with their nationalist pride, would be too happy about the Germans actually coming in and conquering and occupying Gibraltar. So let's just see if we can justify a quick war goal Take a claimed state. What does that mean? No, I think that means territories that they already control. Personally, what I would like to conquer here is just Gibraltar. What does that mean? Attain state? Gibraltar. Oh! Take a claimed state. I don't know why Gibraltar is a claimed state. Maybe we already have a claim on it? This war goal will make the selected state cheaper to pick at a peace conference. All right. Uh, it will cost us four political power and it will take 20 days. So let's go ahead. Maybe we can get into the war quicker by just declaring war on England. And then we'll have to be at war with France if France decides to join. Interesting. I'm a little concerned about our low manpower. It doesn't look too low to me. 100,000... Uh, let's see, 100,000 free manpower. 
240,000 in the army. Maybe it is kind of low. It wasn't low compared to Iran when I was playing the Iranian series. Okay, so that's the diplomatic moves. Uh, production. It looks like we already are producing an armed division. Location. I'm going to want to put them, I think, in the north. In Catalonia. There we go. All right, so we have an armed division being recruited, and it will be deployed, hopefully, to Catalonia, if that works out. Okay, I think that's all the uh, preliminary moves for this episode. Let's go ahead and start the clock. And let's see what happens. It looks like the Germans are already... Well, at least they're moving around on the French front here. This is the historical Maginot Line, which was a string of fortresses that the French built, anti-aircraft, um, along the border between themselves in and Germany. And it was basically bypassed by the Germans as they invaded through Belgium. I don't see a lot of movement into Belgium right now. That yeah, looks like a radar station. That's pretty cool. So we'll have to wait. Most of the fighting, the action, appears to still be on ooh, the Polish front. And it looks like the Axis powers are winning. You know what's missing in this game? Like a little map, a world map, sort of like right over here, I feel like, should be here so you can get a general view of what's going on around the world if you're focused in on one specific area. So it's mostly Germans moving through Slovakia here. Oh boy, look at that. Polish troops in retreat. For sure. Yep, they look like they're getting beaten back. The Germans are using their shock tactic against the standard Polish defense for the battle strategies. And that's the Blitzkrieg. Here we have just a general assault while the Polish are attempting an ambush near uh, Danzig. And it looks like the Germans have... Do they have them blockaded? These are just the divisions. Apparently you don't need transports in this game. Or no. Was that a transport? Yeah, it doesn't appear like you need to worry about transport ships in this game. They automatically find the transports for you. Here we have a losing battle. Okay, I'm still not familiar with all the aspects of the combat. But the French are really piling up along the border here. All we're doing right now is justifying a war goal, not actually declaring war. I do want to wait until the Germans begin their offensive, and then I'll start mine. So in the meantime, we will be building up our armored divisions. We have troops deployed along the front in North Africa, and it looks like the Germans halted their advance on Gibraltar. Oh no, nope. here they come. All right, the Germans are in Cadiz. Two infantry divisions. I think I'm going to advance my troops out of Seville just to get them along that border with Gibraltar. And I guess we can speed up time a little bit. 25 infantry divisions. 
The German concentration is definitely in Poland, except we have 12 infantry divisions here. That must be a field marshal. And Poland, Poland, Poland is Poland. Poland is falling rapidly. It took one month for the German Blitzkrieg to overrun the country of Poland in 1939, less than a month, I believe. And in this scenario, Germany has declared war on, or did declare war on August 27th. So if they can conquer Poland before September 27th, second. Seventh, then uh, they'll have matched history. Eighteen divisions here. Uh, before the invasion on Polish on Poland ended, however, uh, the Russians did invade from the east. So we'll see if the Russians join. And uh, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact ended up splitting Poland between the Nazis and the Russians. The Soviets also, I believe, gave the Baltic states to the Soviet Union. And Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania all went to the Soviet Union. France seems to have a lot of divisions. 27 divisions. 33 divisions down there. That seems to be a lot. They don't seem to have anyone in Africa. The Italians have a lot of troops in Libya. Although no movement yet on their part. The Italians definitely have a number of troops in Africa. What is this? A division guarding the Canary Islands. Interesting. Doesn't appear to be any combat between the Italians and the French. Are the Italians actually in this war? France is fighting a defensive war against Germany, Poland, and Slovakia. France is the target of a foreign war. Goal for justification by us, nationalist Spain. Okay. Okay. It's about September 15th. I think our first war goal should be achieved soon. And if we can just march into Gibraltar, I think that would be a huge success. So it must have been um, September 2nd, if I recall. This is something here. What is that? Oh, no, you can't tell what types of ships they are, really. This is odd that they're moving along the same line. Are they... Did they capture these British ships? French ships? I would assume if they're in the same territory, they would engage each other, unless they're given some sort of orders not to engage. These are a lot of Italian divisions. I'm interested to see where they go. All right, this is September 21st, so we should be coming up on the 22nd sometime soon. I think our first war goal should be um, confirmed. I would assume I would have gotten some sort of announcement there. Let's check diplomacy with England. Okay, I don't know where you find this. Maybe it wasn't the 22nd. There we go. September 24th. Justification of conquering Gibraltar for national Spain is finished. Let's go ahead and declare war. I am not going to call on any allies. Hopefully that will prevent 
England from calling their allies. Okay, that did not. Spanish aggression. England has called South Africa as our enemy in Spanish aggression for Gibraltar, New Zealand, Canada, Australia, Poland, France. Bummer. All right, let's go ahead and advance these three divisions into Gibraltar. I don't see anybody there. And now, this army will advance along its planned line, and hopefully that will give it some sort of advantage. And where I am concerned, it looks like I do have some German allies. Where are those German troops? Oh, they're, they're all the way down by Gibraltar still. I am definitely concerned about this northern front. And that being the case, I think it's time to bring in troops from the Balearic Islands to Barcelona. And let's move some troops out of Madrid to the front, as well as additional troops. 81st and 82nd Infantry Divisions. And uh, we have a fleet here. I have not had any experience managing naval tactics. Convoy escort, convoy raiding, search and destroy, patrol. All right, patrol, order ships to patrol a selected region. Formation speed, spread is 160, it's very wide. Formation spread is how much the fleet has spread out over the mission area. The more ships are spread out, the higher chance they will have to spot the enemy, but fewer ships will be able to enter combat initially. I don't think I like that. I think I'd rather keep them closer. 50%, which means that they are tight. Search and destroy gives us a tight formation. Convoy raiding gives a normal formation. And convoy escort. Let's try search and destroy. And should we do the Bay of Biscay? Or should we try the Iberian coast? Or possibly the Moroccan coast? I think I feel more comfortable uh, in the African coast, to be honest with you. I don't want to be too close to um, England or France. I think they have some very powerful navies. But we might get lucky catching somebody along the African coast. So let's uh, issue that fleet order. We'll see what happens. Okay. Again, this is the front of concern right here. So we are now at war with several countries. Low manpower. Air wings have no missions. So we should bring in some air support. Let's check out where our air wings here. We have fighters. Fighter in Aragon. Create a new air wing. Does that give us nine fighters? Okay, I am going to give them... I'm going to direct this air wing to the Iberian region. There we go, 64 fighters. Interwar fighters and interception will attempt to pre prevent enemy planes from doing missions in the region, such as bombing 
or close air support. Air superiority, air superiority will attempt to achieve air superiority by engaging enemy fighters, secondly, enemy bombers, and other planes. Um, let's go ahead and gain air superiority over our Iberian Peninsula. And start the clock again. This looks ugly. We should have some good defensive position here along the Pyrenees Mountains. So hopefully defense is a good strategy. I definitely need more information about the enemy. So researching some sort of decryption technology might be the next step. And we've gone about 20 minutes here in this episode, so I'm going to put a halt there. We've gone through, looks like, almost the first uh, month of the war here, September 24th. Let's switch back to... Okay. Okay, Germany has gained some ground here. Russia has not entered the war. The Soviet Union has not entered the war. Um, which is one of the reasons why probably Poland hasn't completely fallen yet. I think it was um, September 27th when they officially surrender. So three days away. But um, we did start, the po Germany started this invasion about four days earlier. So and without the Russian support, it'll be a little slower going. But they look like they have been successful and are winning along most of the fronts. All of the fronts, really. Polish seem to still have some aircraft. Airborne. They'll likely be inter intercepted. Alright, I think we're going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, feel free to comment below if you have any suggestions. Also, if you like the episode, uh, pre please uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.